I grew up in College Park where me and my family, my brothers and my sister, you know, we was like the only Mexicans. So it's like, I knew nothing but my black homies my whole life. That's all I know. And some people may say like, yo, he's not Mexican enough, but it's like, I'm just being myself. You know, I'm just in my own lane. I'm making something different new. Like this never has been done. I might come through poet, ay, Dre, Remy, every day. Sasa, 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 then we I've been to Mexico, I'm not really in Mexico like that, but my mom, my dad, they're from Mexico, and you know, this whole lifestyle, I kind of know it. Being that I came here when I was younger, and I was where my parents were from, it was like very poor, dirt roads, so it was like, I'm finna go back, you know, to the barrio. When I came to Mexico City, it was uh, totally the opposite. Man, it's just real good to get in tune with your culture. It's like, man, yeah, I'm in Mexico. This is Mexico. Tell me who tussle. Rosaries, rosaries, I am a blessing. Eating good, I'm going back up a second. I come from where you got it. Like as soon as I got off the airplane, stepped foot on Mexico soil, I was like, yo, I'm in Mexico. I was so happy. Coming to Mexico City, it's like I seen a whole new different culture. But it reminds me of like New York City, you know, cause this city never stops. People are always hustling. It's a lot of traffic, you know. So I was like, oh, this is a little different. It's gonna be a little different. Uh, do I grab this with my hands? Yeah. Since I was young, I could always rhyme. But one thing about me, I could just never come out my shell. In Atlanta, it's such a big local scene. Once I seen my peers doing it, I was like, yo, I can do this too. That's the homie Cap G. Mexico represent, Mexico find his, yeah. find his gang. Man, when I was, I remember being in 12th grade at Tri-Cities, man. I remember as it got to the end of the year, I was like, what I'm finna do with my life? What am I really finna do with my life? Am I really gonna be a rapper? You know, this is my first time in the studio in Mexico. So, you know, I, I really caught a vibe. You know, I gotta go in. So I had this test this one Saturday morning. Really, I was just like, forget it. I'm, just, I'm finna just be a rapper. And I didn't never take the test. Can you play it with the beat one time? So from there, I had put it in my head that, yo, I got to go hard for this. Like, I just can't go regular now. Man, I just start going hard. Like, my brother Juan, he's my manager, my CEO. And man, that man had my back forever. People say they get money, they just get in Pogo. Get a club jumping no Pogo. I ain't going back being Pogo. Go to Mexico, real draw loads out here. Yeah, I ain't talking Frodo. Killer, man. Thank you, man. Super chingon. <laughs> yeah. Super chingon. I was thinking about. <clears throat> See, good. Machines for you. Thank you, man. Uh, made that hook uh -huh. and the Spanish version. What do you think yeah. about it? Bailando en la calle. Oh, no, you know. Bailando en la calle. Si, si, si. Woo! What it do? This is dope, man. I mean, these guys are dope. You, know? you only get to see so little outside of the city or outside of the U.S. So, you see so much more, man.
You know, when you hear all the rappers, you know, talking about the Mexican lingo and everything, it could be kind of like, you know, why they trying to take our stuff, but kind of like love, it's love. I don't really hate it. It's their real lifestyle. But I feel like now me as a rapper, I have to give you the truth. Like, I'm one of the only ones who could reach to different people and tell them what this Mexican world is really about. I went to the street market, that thing is so nice. I love that. They had like a lot of antique type stuff. I wanted to buy it all, but I watch so many movies. When you buy stuff from the yard sale or stuff that's old, like that junk be hunted, and I ain't really into all that. <laughs> Here in Mexico, it's always music, man. Like, you go anywhere, you're gonna hear music. It's always sounds. You hear the horns. You hear the tacos flipping. It sounds everywhere. The architecture is amazing. Like my mom, she's very big on the Virgin Mary and just faith. She told me I gotta go there and pray. Just about life, you know, make sure everything goes right. You know, she really cares about my career. So I went there and man, it just felt like she was with me the whole time, you know, just walking with me. I've been so busy, I haven't really did this in a long time. Like just had time to myself just to think about everything that's going on in my life, everything I went through, everything my family went through. So when I sat down, I'm just thinking, man, really taking everything in and just really thanking God for life. Cause you know, being where I'm from, like this don't happen. Being where my family from, this definitely doesn't happen. So it's like, I came a long way, man. We really been grinding. I bought this for my mom. Not bad. Hello. These bracelets. You know, the swag bracelets. Like, we went everywhere. We was walking everywhere. We did so much, man. Fighting to get a taxi. It was raining and we went to the show right then and there. Hey, soy Cap G. Vengo de Atlanta, Georgia. Tengo mucho amor para México. Mexico, mama came from. When I did my show, I'm thinking, oh, my audience gonna be people with cowboy hats, you know, with the belt buckles and the cowboy boots. But I went to my show, it was um, a lot of hipsters, like Mexican hipsters. I was like, yo, 
I'm telling all my friends about this when I go back home. I just took a flip with your girlfriend. They showed me a lot of love, man. It feels good. I'm in a regular street, just finna buy some chips, you know? People coming up like, Cap G, I'm like, hold on, for real? Like, I was surprised. I've been trying to tell her about it ain't working. I, I think that I'm done with your girlfriend. I, I just smoked a blunt with your girlfriend. Yesterday, man, the homie Edwin, he seen me on Instagram that I'm in Mexico City. The man came three hours away from where he at to come meet me. Standing outside of my hotel for six hours. Man, that's real love right there. Ain't nothing like Mexico. Hey, 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 I come from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. And I'm in Mexico City right now. So to have people know me, you know, that's cool right there. It was an honor, like, it gave me a chance to go back to my roots. Being Mexican in this rap game, you gotta, I gotta work twice as hard. Now it's time for somebody to be like, number one in the rap game. That's what I want to be. I want to be number one. Not the number one Mexican rapper. I want to be the number one rapper. I swear that money, that power, make them respect that ain't about you. I swear that anything possible, can't be scared to take no losses. I swear I learned from them boss, yeah. Turned on my nigga to boss, yeah. We were young, breaking laws. I had that work in my draw, yeah. I swear that money, that power, fuck nigga everything hours. Fuck nigga everything hours. They say my mind and my problems, yeah, but we both